huffed and caught their breaths. Before Draco could recover, Apollo Shimosho whipped his staff toward him, entangling the fire mage in a web of light. The light coiled around him and bound him tight. You set those shadows upon us! Jumping caterpillars! How many times do you have to say you're wrong about me? Get these things off me, they hurt my eyes! Just how long has the Empire hated elves so that they needed to imprison them on sight? The old mage was silent, focusing on being a racist and restraining, restraining Draco with his magic. Saren knew he was also silent because he didn't want to answer. It's the same for dwarves, but he's right. The elves do get trouble every day from you folk. This is true. The suspicion of Draco merely is because he's part elf. I didn't ask to be born with pointy ears. I wanted to be born a Drake, naturally. I like Draco. <laughs> yeah. I haven't bound because of the shadow. Many men only come when he called. Someone called these creatures to us. He must have done it. Little do they suspect the might of Foster Lager. <laughs> shadow men follow the call of their master's crystal. <clears throat> the own one. They're mighty rare. Such as things. Saren reluctantly walked over to Draco's private bag and unfurled it. Careful with that. Silence! Inside were his simple belongings. Spare clothes, a secret stash of rations, a mirror, and a tightly bound heavy object. Saren tensed when he reached for it. Pulling it out and unwrapping the heavy object revealed a bright, shining stone in the darkness. The entire party gaped at the glowing rock. Bless my beard. Draco! You really are? What? Paul was of silence and a quick whack of his staff and a concussion. <laughs> and magic fell around Draco. His eyes fluttered as if he were drunk or under a Paul Michaud's complete control. You have lied to this party and put us in danger. You will reveal your secret to us at once. I will reveal my secrets. Sir. No. You have your hands on the proof. You have in your hands the proof of his treachery. Your Highness. <clears throat> Interrogate him. Gameplay. Saren frowned, but it had to be done. Even though he was against such magic, because he saw how it could be used for evil literally all the time, literally in all cases used for evil, they had to know the truth. Tell us your secret, Draco Firestarter! Alright, fine. I'm your Firestarter, your twisted Firestarter. My secret. My secret is. The party leaning closer, boiling with anticipation to know who had hired him. I don't think Lorenz attractive. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Loren drew her sword, but Saren restrained her. It's unforgivable, you rat. No, the, the crystal, show it to him. Who gave you this crystal? He brought the glowing crystal in front of Draco, and his cloudy eyes lazily found it. Ooh, shiny. Who gave you this? Who, who hired you? Druid Marth? Out with it! No one hired me. Pomachet was silent for a moment. That's impossible. You're not an agent, but a direct enemy of one of us here. Enemy? I want to be a friend. Can I have the shiny rock? It's so shiny. I don't think he knew he had it. Has your magic failed, old mage? Or does he speak the truth? Um, Even the old wizard couldn't believe what he heard. You mean this... Do you mean this party any ill will? I like you guys. You will the Lorenzo Mini. Rat! Paul Michaud waved his hands, and the clouds from Draco's eyes disappeared, as well as the light that was binding him. And he was like, real sorry for basically magically waterboarding you there. What just happened? Oh, my head hurts. They were silent for a while, all feeling guilty for what they had just done to him. Appropriately so. Yeah, you should feel like real shitty about that. We found this crystal in your belongings. Mine? Yeah, sure. I've never seen that before in my life. Someone wants to cause a war, I infer. His sudden vindictiveness drew everyone's attention. 
Slipping that stone into a party traveling into urban territories was a conscious decision on someone's part to start a war. A war? Over a stone? It is not the crystal that offends. If these shadow men had arrived while we were in the elven town... We were in an elven town? Oh, well... News to me. We, we would have all been killed as spies. I am the arch wizard of the Council of Elders of Brimoir. They would take that personally and declare war. We are fortunate this attack came when it did. I feel like there's a bunch of this game that happened when we weren't playing it. Uh, yeah, yeah. We were just attacked, so I do not consider this fortunate in any way. Whatever tensions may be, there may be between humans and elves is not my concern. It's not even gonna get an apology. Look at my forehead starting to swell. Did you hit me with a stick? Yeah, seriously, th this game has four PCs. This is... They are not Loren or Apollo Michaud. <laughs> yeah. The GM's just like, alright, so the wizard grabs you. What? And he interrogates you about the stone. I don't have a stone in my inventory. But he shows you the stone and tells you he found it in your bag. He says, explain this! And you're like, this campaign is bullshit. <laughs> Being cautious is the only trait that keeps you alive. I'll apologize for the bump on your head and nothing more. Also, the, like, you know, the mind-reading shit. Uh, I don't really feel bad about you that. this upon us, whether you knew it or not. You let your guard down yet again and let someone sneak something into your bag. You lost that chance to sleep then, so you now must press on. Already? We've just set up camp and my abs are chiseled. Yes. I'd say you could cut glass on these abs, except you always can't. We only risk more shadow creatures if we were to stay. Run grabbed <clears throat> the crystal and slammed it to the ground, shattering it into pieces. That it wasn't out. actually. It's not how you're. Shit. Shush. Shush. Yes, your highness. <laughs> Shush. Everyone was suddenly in agreement. Lorraine <clears throat> had been a cold hearted woman in the beginning. When I remember her now, it's not hard to think of her as a completely different person. Why? We have no evidence! No, this is this is narrator reflecting back on the past adventure. This is implying that she becomes okay. less of a shit. Alright, so... We're still going to Mount Kronos. We're going to Mount Kronos, so let's go back to the camp. Because we now have... Alright, so do we go in reverse order, or do we go the same order? <sighs> we, gotta, we gotta get Loren out all of right, the way, because right, right. nobody wants to talk to her, but maybe... Do you believe Draco's innocence? Do you think that we should be suspicious of him? I'm not sure. I certainly don't like this law, but it shouldn't change his innocence. The facts presented tell me that he didn't send those creatures on us. Mm. So he's too stupid to be that clever. Friendly. Are we not gonna, we're not we're not gonna try and tell a joke? No. <laughs> you, you don't <laughs> know Sean's from Adam. No, nah, that that, that dwarf dude has specifically enough abs. What you don't see is the extra four that are hiding above and below the borders of his armor. Alright, friendly. You've been harsh with him since we've met him. Why protect him? Why attack him? He hasn't done anything to hurt you. Red twisted her mouth <clears throat> and didn't respond. Alright. Alright. Uh, racist grandpa? Racist grandpa. You're an arch wi You're an arch wizard. What does that mean? You ask the most insultingly simple questions that I've ever been subjected to. But I do recognize you are not from the Empire. So I will eradicate oh, yeah. your ignorance. Sean, it's abs all the way down. I am a member of the Council of Grimoire, which is the hated government for the entire... Head of government, sorry, not hated, that's... Which is the head of government for the entire empire. I represent the Wizards Guild, and therefore all of wizardry. Imagine if you were the best predict. wizard. Now I'm even better than the best wizard. But I'm what? not any more powerful than that shitty incompetent fire listen, wizard listen, you're traveling listen, with. Listen to me. Um, <clears throat> who would you say is the best bond? Just between you and me, the best wizard. It's me. It's not that Roger Moore shit. It's me. It's not true at all. Sure. <laughs> So are you the best wizard? I always was a fan of Dalton, personally. I, I believe also... you will find that quite subjective. I am also a fan of Dalton. Fight me. <laughs> right. Forceful. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. <laughs> it, it was a simple question. 
One does not become the master of Wizard's Guild by being a poor magician. That is all I'll say. One becomes the master of the Wizard's Guild through bribery and whiskey. But I and might a say a good I, round of wizard poker. I am not, as you might say, a conjurer of cheap tricks, if that is what you're asking. <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Draco, let's Draco. joke with Draco. That's your big secret? What? What secret? Do you even remember what you said under a Palermachot's spell? No. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't say too much, just enough. What did I say? That's my big secret. You said you didn't find Loren attractive. It's because I like the cock. Because slammed his palm into his face. What exactly is wrong with that? Loren won't kill you if she if you don't think she's attractive. Except for that moment where she almost did. That's it's not really about her. Oh, Saren studied the I see. Draco in the following silence. There always seemed to be some secret layer underneath him that he was hiding. <laughs> that layer didn't always need to be hidden. Saren wished there was some way to get Draco to come out of his silly guise and be real with him. And Saren realized how odd it was a desire to want to know more about this man, who had originally grated on his abs. I mean nerves. I mean abs. There he was, wishing Draco would say something more. But he didn't. Okay. Are we going to make out with Draco at some point? Is that I it? hope so. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of game is this? <laughs> Spoilers, it's... it's not as gay as I would like it to be, but it's still pretty gay. That this is uh, like this is a visual novel with strategic combat, inter occasionally interrupting insufferable princess monologues. Yes, uh, I hereby recurse <clears throat> in this game, princess monologue. All right, all right. So, uh, is it true that big lady is a princess? Yes, of the Amazons in the West. Wow. Point, Citadel yeah. is actually in the West. Yeah. Her eyes glimmered. Does she live in a big, glittery castle? Lots of gold and such? Um, not particularly. The Citadel is made of stone. The royals prize fur and pelts above weak metals. Weak? Gold and silver are precious metals. They're pretty and sell for tons of coin. They're actually what coins are mostly made of. It's sort of complicated now. So this is not a sex game, uh, sadly. But yeah, we're totally going to fuck that dwarf. If we get the chance, 100%, cheese grater abs on cheese grater abs. That's what it's going to be. Yeah, the, the real mystery of this game is exactly the nature of the abs under uh, Draco's robes. Um, so, like... Currently, there's a huge draw towards him just to know. Yeah. It's the mystery of his abs. The layer. Yeah. The, the layer. layer beneath that we never get to see. It's the ab layer. <laughs> oh, man. Man, when we finish this, we should play Lady, Kill Lady Killer in a Blind, which is actually a sex game. Uh, they have a streamer-friendly mode uh, that covers all of the people in uh, uh, ugly Christmas sweaters. <laughs> That's amazing! It's so good. Is that the lesbian bondage game? That's the one. All right. Uh, oh no, no, the abs go all the way around. It's like a like a, a, a helical ab system. Yeah, he's like a very meaty absman. He's like ablet of meat. Yeah, yeah. Emphasis yeah. on the ablet. <laughs> yes, but the Amazons have no use for metal that they can't make a weapon out of. Gold is rather soft. I guess that's true. How boring. So it's just all about war with her, then? Friendly. We're good. friendly. We could joke with Dora. We could joke with Dora, but she seems so sad. It's true. I just she want to give her a hug distress. right now. More or less. That's how her culture is. Strength is their highest virtue. Abs are their highest virtue. Oh, I see. I guess she ain't like a princess that I was imagining. I suppose not. But she's still a powerful ally. That's true and all, but will she still be able to give me a fancy reward? Amazons make excellent bows. I think she'd give you one of their best. A new bow? Hmm, I think I'd actually like that. Okay, sounds good to me. Ah, uh, sorry. 
I just got the Sailor Moon Transform moment and was distracted. <laughs> um, well, that's just my guess. Dora's already <clears throat> daydreaming about her new weapon to be. Last but not least, Ramus. I can't believe those Shadow Men came after us. That was something I thought I'd never see. You only hear stories about that stuff. Well, you have a lot of crazy situations all the time, don't you? Yeah, he seems like a jokey guy. Yeah, knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Your cart. <laughs> Your cart who? Your cart makes a better door than a window, so I pushed it off the cliff. <laughs> uh, yes, Dora's arm. I, we don't like to draw attention to it. It's it's a birth defect. Um, and that's not foreshortening that's happening. It's actually, it's very, it's very sort of stunted and small. Pretty much all she can do is sort of pluck an arrow out. Like, it's, it's, it's sad, but she's made do. She's done very well for herself. Yeah, she's uh, our best archer. Yeah. Us? No. Just remarkably deadly and improbable situations. Definitely not crazy. I would prefer crazy. Don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying it. I've been rusting on my wagon for too long. Now I'm finally getting back into the thick of things. Getting my axe, it's exercise. Speaking of thick, let me allude to... I needed more than to just stretch my legs, if you know what I mean. All three of them. I'm finally getting out and living. I feel young again. It sure does sound like you're having fun. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Yeah, yeah, I like Ramus. Yeah, yeah, good times, good times. Oh man, we still have like a. Does whole... Ramus have one big tooth? Did we miss? Oh, oh yes. There's no separation between his teeth. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no, yeah, no. Dwar dwarves are monotooth. I think everybody's monotooth so far. We're still. How many times have we clicked on Mount Chronos? Random encounter. Hell yeah, we're fighting this. Yeah. All right, random encounter. All right, so we start with the healers because healers uh, because die yes, first. of course healers die first. Um, uh, they're weak to fire, aren't they? They're weak to fire, so why don't we just let um, why don't we just let our boy demolish the back row? Uh, seems great. When does our boy go? Uh, uh, near the end, but still before them. All right, yeah. Seven to eight, sixteen to nineteen. Do we still land at six? That's probably better. Oh, we missed. Wow, we've never done that before. I guess that's what the skill is for. Because we're bad at strength. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's Maybe true. that's how good you are at actually connecting. Yeah. Alright. Alright, we could have bunk. Um. Can we peril? Uh, yeah, make him not do anything. Or make the other one not do anything. Because that one's already stunned, yeah. dazed, bad at things. Who likes fireballs? Boom. Yeah, you chop him up. Great. Dazed. Bonked him for four damage. Right, Might so need to up the difficulty on this. This is trivial. You're not wrong. Uh, yeah, I guess we just staff him. Still paralyzed. Drill him in the face with a bow. Uh, oh, we forgot that she could buff the party. Oh, yeah. Um, I feel like we don't even bother fireball. Like it's, it's yeah, nice. no, he's yeah, he's stunned. Oh, we just and now we just click our way through. We won! <clears throat> Yay! And she gets to level up. Where she gets better at shooting things. We got a buckler. Oh, nice. Too bad none of our warriors use shields. Right? Let's check uh, let's check Ramus there. Yeah, like I assumed he was two we two handed. Yeah, he is. He's got a two handed axe. Alright, yeah. But not any of the nice two handed axes that he was trying to sell us. Mm, no. We should save our game. Oh, we should save our game. You're right. Not that I question the stability of this expertly made game. It has been stable so far, though. Yeah, I imagine it would be. It's probably built in a really cool engine. 
Um, <clears throat> like, there's probably a story game engine, for example. Oh, they finally know. reached the top of Mount Kronos. <laughs> the party climbed the mountain for days, but they finally reached the top of Mount Kronos. <laughs> it had been a long journey, but being so close to the crypt that held the ancient sword gave them the strength to press on. We're almost there. Once we find the entrance to the crypt, the sword is as good as ours. Laughter crackled through the air. The party looked around in surprise, sure that none of them had laughed. <laughs> Did you hear that? Or am I just imagining things? No, I heard it too. Somebody's up here. But that climb was too difficult. The mountaintop should be empty. I cannot imagine anyone but a ragtag band of unlikely adventurers and comrades could possibly make their way up. Same laughter surrounded them again, but this time all they heard was where it was coming from. What? I don't know. I've climbed mountains that make Kronos look like an anthill. Ryan oh my god! Ken. <laughs> it's Ken! <laughs> I got this one. Uh, please. A man wearing monk's robes stood barefoot and cross-armed at the top of the path. Who are you? Name yourself. Loren drew her sword, but the monk didn't even blink. I'm Salzer, master of truth. Dude. You can do that one so much harder. I, I can. I... You'll find it. You'll find also, it. Also, this, this fucking music. <laughs> it's really fucking me off. That's okay. It's gone now. Yep. No more music. Master of truth. You some sort of spirit sent to test our worth. Salzer laughed once more. No, I can see that very well already. It's not much, by the way. Chaw. Red grumbled and raised her sword, ready to attack. We're welcome to try, but like, I've trained some of like the best warriors in the world. Why have you stopped us if you don't wish to battle? Stopped you? Dude, you're the ones that stopped me. I was like, in the middle of this sick meditation, and then you came tracing up here to like, break my concentration and shit, <laughs> right? Master of Truth, you're a monk of the Disciples of Truth, are you not? Cha. What are you doing on top of a mountain? Cha. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Hello. I'm on the <clears> side. <throat> you like, you like want the sword and shit, don't you? What do you know of the Ember Blade? Do you not like have red robes? Like, I mean, whatever everybody else knows. It's forged by the gods. Gives their strength to the most worthy. You know, stuff. You're not gonna fight this for me, are you? How about enough fighting for today? Oh. oh, dude, dude, I don't fight with swords, brah. I fight with guns. These guns. Chaw. Necromancers. Yeah, and they're like, you know, skeletons. I think I may have forgotten something at the bottom of the mountain. I should go get it. I'll let them speed. Five minutes. You're staying right here, young man. Don't blow this for us. They're just skeletons and zombies. Don't worry, Dora. <clears throat> I'm not afraid of the undead. Stick by me. Those creatures are really so powerful. Yes. Necromancers also have life-draining spells, along with their ability to control the dead. Whatever. We played fucking Darkest Dungeon on the screen. I'm bringing on. Fighting them in their own territory is... We have no choice! However, your freedom depends on us getting that sword, and my aid will help you get to your mother! I like you're just throwing an old man tantrum. <laughs> What's he doing? Necromancers don't frighten me. I'll have the sword by sundown. Dude, you didn't tell me this was like a suicide mission. I can't like. Go hard, bruh. They're not a very nice boss of truth. Truth hurts, dude. Dude, if you go into that crib right now, you will, like, toads die. You should, like, at least get warmed up by, like, grinding a bit on the mountain or, like, some shit. Get, like, a, like a smoothie, maybe a jog. I could, I could recommend, like, a really good, like, uh, have you, uh, have you heard of Pilates? Pilates. 
That seems like a smart move you meant. Aren't you cold? Ren stared into the distance, contemplating her decision. It was clear on her face that she wanted to waste no time and charged right into the crypt. Apollo Michaud joined Saren and whispered to him. You recall we're on easy mode, right? This is probably pretty piddly. Saren nodded and approached Loren. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm, um, yeah, not, like, friendly. Friendly is the best I can be, like, forceful, she'll just stab me. Joking, I'll say something stupid. Your Highness, if you have never fought the undead before, it wouldn't be smart... It would be hasty yeah. to fight your first battle against them when it matters the most. I can only protect you so much by standing behind you. With the Beside queen, him. Beside. I, with the queen already missing, we cannot afford to lose you too. Run was silent for a long moment, then turned <clears> to <throat> face him. I appreciate your concern. Perhaps you're right. I should learn more about the undead before risking all of our lives on my confidence. Sarah sighed in relief as Lorraine changed her mind and overcoming her stubbornness. Cha. Dude, my bros and I are like guarding the crib, so we weren't like gonna let you inside until you were ready anyway. There's like trials and like a proving and like a keg party later. It's gonna be fucking raw. What? When you're like ready, you can you can spar with us, and then you know if you could beat us, maybe you can handle the necromancers. Until then, I mean, like, jaw. This campaign is bullshit. Yes, <laughs> agreed, dude. <clears throat> there's some goblins who like live down there. Uh, if you want to just like literal murder them. Yeah, they're not like sentient like, people. Or... It's like, no, they don't have like a civilization. Not like us. We, I mean, we live on the top of a mountain. Thank you for all of your help. Ciao. <clears throat> Sazer walked off in the snow and sat by the edge of a cliff in silence. That's me cold. <laughs> Aren't you? <laughs> Fucking freezing. He's the only one where, like, if anyone's not going to be cold, it's our fire mage. Yeah. No, he's fine. He's wearing layers of clothes and can keep himself warm. Loren is wearing, like, it looks like she hung her laundry on her waist instead of wearing her pants. It's true. <laughs> like, she has two dishcloths and a hand towel drying on a string around her waist. Let's get this over with. <laughs> the party followed Sazer's directions and reached the Valley of the Goblins. There! A group of goblins! <clears throat> Let's teach them a lesson. Teach you to live in this valley where you live. Alright, what do we got? Goblin wizard. Goblin wizard! Why? What you... Resistances. Weak to water. Resistant to earth. Critically weak to air. Great. That's not going to do us any good. Uh, but it, uh, they, these guys are weak to air, though, which will help uh, the yep. last blades. Oh! Yeah, that's two shots. That guy's going to well, die. Um, yeah. Just normal Jesus. shots. Well, that was the end of that. Right? Okay. No more wizard to worry about. Uh, now let's, let's uh, open up on one of these guys, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Front row. Um... I want to get you to maybe hit the back row guy? Mmm, you could kid. Oh, yeah. Because I feel like when, we're when one did, fireball did... away from solving this particular problem. Probably, yeah. Wow. So we want to start softening up the back row guy. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we gotta up the difficulty. This is this is a trivial. All right, let's uh, normal. All right, there we go. <clears throat> boss fight, just in time for the boss fight. All right, so again, wizard, uh, maybe paralyze 
We'll paralyze. Oh, well, we probably can't paralyze a boss monster. I guess. Oh right, yeah. That'll show in his resistances, I think. Um, he's weak to a couple of. Th oh, fuck, that's really annoying. Because he's weak. He's actually weak to a couple of. Uh, yeah, I think we can paralyze him. All right, sweet. Because the the middle one isn't that paralyzing. Uh, we'll find out. I think there's the icon when I, he gets to go. Anyway, all right. So, so yeah, uh, let's make him uh, cease to be as quickly as possible. Yeah. All right. All right. So Dora, the wizard goes next. Uh, no, he doesn't. No, he does not. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Loren. Okay. What is yeah? What is the status? It's that's on us. Uh, slowed. slowed. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, Loren can uh, buff us, can't she? Uh, yeah. Want to see what that looks like? Yeah, let's go with Rally. And it rallies everyone. We can also uh, increase the speed. Oh. Let's do that. It's as much as I like seeing those animations. Agreed. Ah. <clears throat> oh. Is it? There we go. Okay. So we're gonna paralyze this guy. Yes, we are. Uh, Didn't work. Didn't work. Darn. So much is life. Draco. Do your thing, boy. <laughs> it's your boy, Draco. Kill yeah, that boss. Stop being, and then these guys. Uh, they were like you won! Hooray! Minor Frost Sword and the Crossbow Rain. Ooh. Guess who's getting a new boy? Bo. My favorite little elf. Dwarf. She's a dwarf. Uh, I don't think she dwarf. is. I think her bow is better. Oh. Oh, well, we got some levels. We got some levels to do. All right. All right. So, obviously, more strength. Yep. All right. All right. Berserkers. That doesn't seem very good. Yeah, what does he even use stamina for right now? Uh, nothing. Resistance against... A bunch of stuff that's useful but not as cool as... Oh, there we go. Berserk. Increases attack by 25% but lowers defense by 25%. That seems fine. And then we get into warrior stuff with taunting... Taunting and abs. Toughness and uh, power attack. Alright, what are, what are these combo abilities that we're building? Alright, Mighty Blow. A single stagger target with... 200% damage. And then, like, these just do a shit ton of damage. If you can stagger somebody. Um, and Crushing Blow hits rows of enemies. Oh, yeah. Crushing Blow seems awesome. What is, uh, what is Left Hand Column giving us? Left Hand is the passive resistances. Okay. Yeah. Which seems pretty decent. Yeah. Okay. So, good stamina, and so, like, I'm thinking we don't want to do both. So, and crushing rows of enemies and yeah, being agreed. resistant to all those effects. Yeah, so why don't we start with the... I, I, he's already got that one. Oh, right. So yeah, why don't we start with this yeah. one? And the next level we can get it. Next time we get a thing, we can get crushing blow. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Alright, our boy. Our boy. Get more heals, but I think we want to go with the resurrection thing. Uh, really? Just in case. Okay, well, we're stuck now. Up the skill. Yep. And uh, this gentleman here. This gentleman here needs to. Uh, Parallelities is great and all, but. So this is, this is an AoE, it targets a row. It can paralyze a row? Yeah. That's like, they get worse, like, so it's a 50% chance of paralyzing, and then a 25% chance, but it hits, like, this hits everybody. A lot of spell points. Uh, alternately, we could get. Uh, we don't have any earth damage. That's a single target. Yeah, this is. He does single target damage. That's okay. the difference. Um, so he does more damage, but he only hits one person. In uh, wizardiness. I feel like we make him our support guy, and we like get him haste. Can we get hasting more than one person? Yeah, because Haste caps out of five turns. Yeah, because, like, 
It's one of those, he's making somebody else go more often, but him just doing something seems yeah, more true. useful than making somebody else do something. Alright, then why don't we pick one of these? Why don't we go Earth or uh, uh, Water? Unless we want the AoE heal. Uh, our, our dude's already a healer. So, yeah. Uh, uh, earth damage, yeah. Single target, high damage. Meteor Swarm. Even allocated her well. There we go. We won. Cha. <clears throat> you like ready? We all trained in like kung fu. We're ready, Master of Truth. We need to pause. Okay. Cha. <laughs> Math aura. Ryu! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, just uh, <laughs> Sean telling us uh, what skill to pick. Oh. So it's three on three. Okay. Uh, it's my temple, dude. Fine, let's do it. Alright, we're gonna fireball you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, so Saren and Lo well, and Saren and Lauren have to be in the party. So. I guess, yeah, we just take... Like that. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're conveniently in a single row. Alright. Um, do we have a buff? No. No, we don't have a buff yet. Alright, well, let's, uh... Oh, oh, look, we can pick shit here heal if we want. Yeah, because they... they, they, they... Oof, 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 oof. <laughs> They cost oh, is she a paralyzed? Different XP. Uh, yes. Alright, well, I guess she uh, defends. Yeah, because she can't do any of the yeah. of these items, so she's gonna guard. I got bad news for you, bros. <laughs> the bad news is you cannot cause her adequate harm to do any. Boom. <laughs> Was, you cannot punch front row lady nearly enough. <clears throat> right? The Corinthian capital? Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> right. For those of you not adequately versed in Roman and Greek architecture, uh, what you're seeing is the combination of two time periods using fantasy architecture. Yeah. Also, that is a clearly a late, uh, yeah. a, a late Renaissance sculpture. Yeah. Although it is a late Renaissance sculpture inspired by classical sculpture. With with, tenth century crenellations along the top. Ah uh, yes. <clears throat> and way too many windows. Yeah, and non and non archway windows. Yeah. Like pierced windows in a concrete structure. It's very confusing. Yeah. Honestly, this is what I would expect to see in like. A crypt in New Orleans, maybe? Mmm, yeah. <laughs> like, shit that doesn't look cool. This is what Donald Trump's grave is going to look like. For like an hour before it's covered in graffiti. Yeah, it seems funny. I'm like, really? Yeah. <laughs> let's just level up again. All right. right. Um, so yeah, he's got two elements. Uh, that seems like enough elements. So we can either get the buff, but I mean, why would we not just get better fireball? Better fireball. It will make him more happy. Because better fireball is actually worse fireball? Oh no, 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 no. I understand now. I understand. It does slightly less damage, but it does equal damage to all the people in the row. Yeah. And then this one does less damage, but it hits literal everyone. Yeah. That seems fine. And we can also use lesser fireball. Yeah, right. Uh, this guy just goes up another level. And... Yeah, no, he doesn't get a skill point this time. Oh, right. <clears throat> you can, like, go in the crypt and stuff. But, like... Yeah, those are Persian windows. You will find you will find those in churches in Spain that look nothing like this structure. <clears throat> Thank you very much. 
We may, and Victorian doorknobs. We may proceed, Your Grace. Paul Michaud walks ahead of them and surveys the entrance. He says the magic words and the door slowly opened by itself. This will be a dark and deadly place. Be on your guard. We might actually experience some risk. Loren nodded and bravely stepped into the darkness. I think I, I think I heard. Ah, what are those? <clears throat> Jesus. A necromancer with his skeletons. Be ready for a fight. The necromancer sent forward a small group of skeletons, but they were preparing for a strong attack. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, uh, you go back to the front, and you, uh... Yep, and yep, we, we keep, keep these the hell away from Ramus on account of we don't want to have <clears throat> an HR-related incident. Alright, so we have skeleton archers and skeleton warriors, and they're, res they're weak to... They're air. weak against... Oh, but they're weak They're against, resistant to fire. They're resistant to fire, which is sad, but they're but weak we against have, earth. Yeah. And um, we have Blizzard, too, so that's why we took it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think we just open with uh, bows on the archers. Yeah. Because we're going to Blizzard this whole front row. Uh, um, he, he can. He might be able to, like... What, no, that guy. Yeah. Meteors! Meteors! That was fun. Blizzard? Huh, that actually worked. Yeah? Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Yep, they're, uh, they're real broken. Dead's the wrong word. Smack, 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 smack. Um, um, 39, I guess. Oh, so close. Why don't we... Yeah, make that one a dick guaranteed kill next time we smack a thing. Good riddance, I say. Yeah, um... Take this to the back row. Let's move on. Yay! Yay! Where's the necromancer? Oh, there he is. Oh, uh, sorry, um, we we're just um, looking in the wrong direction. Hey, uh, hello. <laughs> You'll join my undead army soon. Alright, uh, so yeah, Necromancer, uh, he should, uh, oh, he's critically, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna He's die. critically weak to fire. Alright, so just, just... I got bad news for you, motherfucker. Yeah, and he goes, oh, he goes before Draco. He goes bro before Draco, unless we do something to him. Um, Draco's gonna fireball that whole row, but these guys are resistant to fire. Yeah. I thought we gave her the, like, piercing shot thing, but then we didn't. Yeah, I thought she could hobble somebody. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna have to take a turn of Necromancer attacks, then. Oh, she can't get back row. No. What? Um, what is that? What is what? Ang uh, angry face. Uh, rage. Oh. They're raging out. Yeah, so that was just straight up murder. Oh no! No, no. Yep. Alright, dead enemies are better than wounded ones. Yep. Agreed. Dead enemy. I'll regenerate. Oh, whatever. There's five hit points left. I'm just gonna bop them. What just happened? I think it's successfully defended. Oh. That seems unfortunate. Alright, shall we shoot him? Yeah, he's not defending anymore. Yeah. He missed. And he's regenerating. Alright, well. Pretty fireball, go. I don't understand what, what just happened. But what does what, what does defend do? Oh, he's being guarded by the warrior, so the warrior's taking all the damage. Oh, okay, that's what's going on. Alright, well, that's fine. Solve that problem. And then solve that problem. And then... 
win. Yay! That almost t that took a slight amount of thinking. Oh, they have to be staggered. Oh. Okay. Okay. What is what does middle thing give us? Snipe. They have to be burned, frozen, tired. So if they have anything on, we can do something terrible to them. I feel like we just want to try and get into Rain of Arrows, man. It's the row. It's her. Like, row target one. It's just AoE everybody. Yeah. Like, this whole condition shit doesn't seem to work out for us. Yeah, we need to... I think it takes more planning and understanding of the system. Agreed. Party finally stumbled upon an atrium in the center of the crypt. A sword was lying on a slab of stone in the middle of the... In the middle, with a stream of light pouring down from the ceiling. As is typical. The sword? That must be it! Hush, do not yell so loudly in this place. The run <laughs> approached the ancient relic cautiously. One hand reaching for the sword, the other still gripping her own very tightly. Oh, uh, yeah, Sean didn't, wasn't here when we established Amazons are not humans, and their rib cages go all the way from their, their, their collarbones down to their pelvic bone. Yeah. Yeah. There appeared to be no trap, so there... she swiftly picked it up. The ember blade hummed in her hands as she pointed it toward the sky. Suddenly the sword began to glow, and the wizard was like, Shit, that shit was bind on pickup! God damn it! <laughs> <clears throat> What's this? Why is it glowing? I looked over at Apollo Michaud, who was positively surprised. My princess, that sword only glowed for the most powerful warriors whom the world has ever known! I'm an NBC voiced by the GM. The ones who have shaped the world forever. Souser said, Shaw. <laughs> yes, that sword has recognized Loren. Loren stared in disbelief, the glowing sword in her hand. Could she possibly be the most powerful warrior in the world? Would she change the world forever? It's all been broken. <laughs> it's mistaken. It's, Saren knew in his heart that it had, the sword had not chosen Loren by mistake and wondered what the future had in store for his mistress <clears throat> and if he was a part of that story. Loren had discounted the history of the ancient sword as a rumor rather than a prophecy. If she had only believed she was destined for something greater, perhaps things would have been different. Yay! Levels! Levels! <laughs> Three level ups! More strength. We have no skill points. More skill. We have no skill points. No, we, uh... So our character is is technically Saren, who is the Absman, who is Loren's boon companion. Uh, Slave. Slave is slave the word, yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we just we just yeah, better level stone. Up. Yeah, better. bonk thing on head. The meteors, yeah. And dwarfsman. Dwarfsman gets his uh his his row his killer. AOE. Yeah. It's like our, our our strategy in this is just spam AOEs until everything goes away, right? That seems to be the thing. Like I it does I like, seem to be working. I like the idea of statuses where we paralyze dangerous things. But having that thing, like, the dangerous thing paralyzed and then everything else dies seems great. Back outside the crypt, Loren couldn't contain herself. I've held up our end of the bargain. When we're back in Grimoire, you'll do everything in your power to find my mother. Oh, yeah, it's about that. I should probably not admit Loren this till we get stopped back. in her tracks and scowled, unsure if she was about to use the sword that she had just acquired. The whereabouts of your mother are already known to me, but I needed you to agree to my terms. You've known this whole time. I think of it this way. You don't have to wait a moment for me to search for her. You already know that I do not need to search. This campaign is bullshit. <laughs> you lied to me. No, I didn't. I strongly implied that I already knew where the fuck she was. Are you... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like being lied to. Tell me where my mother is now. Karen, now, your mother was seen outside of Grimoire 
with a man. A man? Who? I, I don't know who, but I do know that they were both headed north towards the swamps. Corinne's stomach clenched <clears throat> up upon hearing this. Ooh, the great swamps really uncomfortable. It is. The great swamps were a very dangerous region that no one dared venture because of how untamed it was. But she had no choice. Then I'm headed toward the swamps. My grace, are you sure? I know of the dangers. You promised to put your life on the line for my cause, didn't you? Uh, yes, Midgeriff McStabby in the gut is the is technically the player character, although Loren is clearly the main character and the title character. Yeah, the con- the conceit of this is you're like you're the sidekick to the main character. As it turns out, the main character is a shithead. I would gladly give you my life, no matter the cause. Great, die for me on that stupid tree. <laughs> yes, Loren's eyes faltered. Well, good. <laughs> Jesus. We need to return to Grimoire first. The Empire needs to know of our friend Firestarter's crystal. Don't be so quick with the word friend there. What's it mine? mine. <laughs> Don't tell him it was mine. You're not in danger of being imprisoned again. You have all more than earned your freedom. Even your citizenship, if you really want it. You're a slave boy, if you'd like to... You all to... seem like jerks. Although... The old magician's eyes lingered on the ember blade in Lorenz's sheath. <clears throat> Son, we're going to take you down to HR2. Never mind. You should regather yourselves in a civilized town for supplies and rest. The lizard men of the swamps are no laughing matter. I'm so excited for lizard men. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. I shall lead the way. My mother's in danger and we can't waste any more time. Trunch, 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 After trunch, defeating trunch, the trunch, evil trunch, in the crypt and trunch, earning the respect trunch, of the Empire, trunch, 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 there was only one thing trunch, left on Loren's mind, and that was trunch, saving trunch, her mother from whatever trunch, man trunch, held her captive trunch, in the swamps. Trunch. The sword would sing to her while she slept, planting the seed of doubt that it would not glow for just anyone. She refused to accept her role, the role the sword had given her, so the world would have to force it upon her in time. Oh, yeah, they're not they're not actually abs, they're scales. They're like basically like a snake's belly. Yeah. So, the, yeah, they're, they're overlapping scales that go no, all we, the way we, down No, we have rack. established that there is a giant donger somewhere involved in there. They traveled uneventfully back to Grimoire to rest. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. <laughs> <clears throat> that super dangerous elven forest where somebody <laughs> sort of looked at us and then left. Oh, we should call it though. It's like quarter to ten. Yep. Oh man. <clears throat> um, should we should we deal with the end bullshit so we can get like straight up with? Uh... Um, I was just gonna save our game. Uh, okay. Oh man. This is so dumb. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out though. This is. God, oh, fun, fun. There are pieces of this that I really like. Like, I really, I really like the, the like, as much as I'm like, oh, it skips a bunch of stuff, I kind of like that it skips a bunch of stuff, because it means that you, you sort of get farther. If, if I were, look, but if I were looking at, like, the design goals for this game, it would be like, we, we like tactical clicky combat, but not enough to do it all the time. Um... We have particular ideas about Amazons, but we haven't thought too hard about anything, which seems cool. Um, and we like leveling up. Like, leveling up is the most fun thing in the world. We're going to do it as often as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Like, every fight, someone levels up. And you have choices to make, but most of them aren't choices. And, like, those are, there, there are worse, there are worse design goals to have in mind. Like, I, I compare this to something like Dragon Age. Like in the in the in the like broad thematic sense, where Dragon Age is like a bunch of fights interspersed with narrative moments, but it's much more focused on the tactical combat element. Yeah. Of it. Yeah. Except that like they don't seem to have balanced the tactical combat for threat. Like we've now upped it to normal, and I fe- have felt no threat. Yeah. Not being good at the game. Like easy was distressingly easy. We yes. could have like we could have just been like attack first person like just click attack 
until something dies and we would have never been. Well, in I think I, I'm kind of okay with that because I mean, yeah, it's like, like, like easy, it's, that's fine. It's like it's a it's definitely like a visual novel first. Yes, and 100%. I'm percent totally cool with that. Did we get the expansion pack? Oh, hundred percent, we did. I'm looking forward to those people. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for, no. yeah, there's, like, a vampire dude. Oh, yeah. It's, and, like, oh, a sorceress lady who looks exactly as you imagine the sorceress lady will be. Yeah. This is, like, like a bird or something? I don't know. Yeah. It's gonna be choice. But we're gonna keep playing. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, I think our next stream is on Thursday. Uh, we're just gonna be streaming Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Uh, or Stardew Valley, because he's currently, in, like, addicted to Stardew Valley. I... Uh, I have been informed that I need to get Stardew Valley. Yeah, I have been informed that I will... Stardew Valley will destroy my not, my life, and I'm determined not to. That seems like a good choice. I'm hoping uh, to destroy Becky's life with it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I bet you'd really like it. Yeah. Oh, man. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. Yeah. I'll see you guys later.